California is often regarded as one of the most beautiful states in the U.S. and in film and TV has often been depicted as an aspirational place to live. Despite this, though, California has seen its population shrink in recent years, and this is by a significant amount. Between April 2020 and July 2022, for instance, California's population decreased by over 500,000 people. For a state with a population of about 39 million, that's pretty big, equating to roughly 1 in 100 people leaving the state during that time frame. But why are they leaving the Golden State? Well, today on Across the Globe, we're going to look at some of the alarming reasons people are leaving California. Number 1. Real Estate After Hawaii, California has the most expensive real estate in the entire country. As of September 2022, California homes cost, on average, about $468 per square foot. Compare that to Texas, one of the more affordable places in the country to buy a home, where the cost per square foot is only about $150. Meanwhile, the average cost of a home in California is about $683,000, though in San Francisco, that number hits over $1 million, and in Los Angeles, $855,000. And for those who rent, the cost isn't cheap either. According to SoFi, the median rent for a studio in the Golden State is about $1,360 per month. For a one-bedroom, it's $1,525, and for a two-bedroom, it's $1,797. Remember, those numbers are just state medians. That means that if you're looking to rent in some of the most expensive cities in the state, like San Francisco and Los Angeles, you might be paying way more. According to Rent Cafe, the average price of a San Francisco apartment is $3,300 per month. And in Los Angeles, it's $2,781 monthly. So, you could argue that you're paying to live in a state with year-round sun and proximity to beautiful nature, but for some people, that trade-off just isn't good enough. Number 2. Taxes Another reason a lot of Californians are leaving is because of the high tax rate. In fact, California has the highest state income tax rate in the country, with those making over $1 million per year being taxed at about 13.3%. This might be a big reason why many Californians who have left have gone to states like Texas, which has no state income tax. I should note that Californians making less than $75,000 are actually not taxed that heavily when compared to other states. Nonetheless, for high-income earners, high taxes might be enough to drive them away. Number 3. Education According to U.S. News, California is ranked number 20 when it comes to public schools. While this state is obviously nowhere near having the worst public schools in the country, you would expect that, given the high taxes, public schools might be a little more highly ranked. That's especially the case considering that some of the states without state income tax have significantly higher ranked public schools. Florida, for instance, is ranked number three in terms of its public schools. Washington is ranked fourth. New Hampshire is ranked number 13. Now, I'm not saying that there's an inverse relationship between the quality of public schools and state income tax. In fact, some states without income taxes, like Alaska and Nevada, have some of the poorest ranked public schools in the country. What I am saying is that it must be frustrating for Californians to pay such high state income taxes and yet not necessarily reap all the benefits from this that they might expect. And a case in point is the rather mediocre quality of its public schools. Number 4. Cost of Living we already looked at how real estate in California is hugely expensive and how this provides a high barrier to entry for the average person. Let's face it, the everyday person can't go out and buy a house that's worth upwards of $600,000. But it's not just housing that's expensive. The cost of living in California is also incredibly high. That means that if you live here, you're paying more than the average person for things like 
meals out, groceries, and gas. In fact, California is ranked number 49 when it comes to cost of living, with only Massachusetts, Washington, D.C., and Hawaii being more expensive. According to data from SoFi, the average person will spend about $53,000 to live in California. That comes down to about $4,400 per month. The average Californian spends about $380 per month on utilities, $322 per month on groceries and food expenses, and anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 per year on transportation expenses. As if that's not enough, healthcare costs an average of $8,500 per year and childcare about $900 to almost $1,800 per month per child. Number five, climate change. Another reason people are leaving California has to do with climate change. Californians are used to forest fires, but in recent years, things have gotten much, much worse. For starters, wildfire season is lasting longer, continuing into late fall and even winter. According to the Western Fire Chiefs Association, climate change means that wildfires are becoming bigger and more intense, which makes them harder to fight. 2020, for instance, saw five out of California's top 20 biggest wildfires ever in one year alone. That year, fires destroyed over 4.3 million acres of land, ruined 11,000 structures, and killed 33 people. And over the course of the past five years, 13 of California's 20 worst recorded wildfires occurred. These alone destroyed 40,000 structures, including homes and businesses. Number six, homelessness. If you watch the news at all, you probably already know that California is facing a massive homelessness crisis. If you haven't been following, here's a quick recap. As of January 2020, about 160,000 people experienced homelessness in California on any given day. But things haven't improved. They've gotten worse, a lot worse. Between 2020 and 2022, California's homeless population increased approximately 6%. Even worse, about 30% of all people in the U.S. who are homeless live in California. California's undertaken a lot of schemes to try and reduce homelessness. Some of these are more crazy than others. For instance, in 2019, San Francisco inserted retractable spikes on staircases and under bridges to try and stop homeless people from sleeping there. Others seem to be a bit more reasonable, like affordable housing being developed in Los Angeles. But despite these efforts, and seemingly no matter how much public officials try, the issue isn't getting better, and some Californians are leaving the state because of it. Number seven, work from home opportunities. When the pandemic struck, a lot of people switched to remote work, and with the opportunities for remote work, suddenly people weren't tied to one particular location. Among states with the most work from home workers, California ranked pretty high up. In fact, San Francisco, Oakland, and San Jose all ranked in the top 15 work-from-home cities in the entire country. In San Francisco, for instance, a whopping 46% or nearly one in two residents worked from home in 2020. That's a big increase from the 7% who worked from home in 2019. While some of these workers have likely returned to in-person work since then, a large number have not. And with opportunities to work outside of the state, some people have decided to take advantage of flexible remote work by turning their backs on high real estate prices and high income taxes and relocate to more affordable states. Number eight, gas prices. Okay, this probably isn't the main reason that people are leaving California, but when added onto all these other factors, it might be enough to drive some people out for good. I'll get right to it. California has the highest gas prices out of any other state in the country. While the average price of gas in the U.S. as of March 2023 was $3.49 per gallon, in California, it was an average of $4.83 per gallon. 
over a dollar per gallon more expensive. Compare that to states with the lowest gas prices like Mississippi at about $3.02 per gallon or Arkansas at $3.09 per gallon. While this might not be an issue if some people didn't drive, that's simply not the case. In fact, about 93% of California households have at least one car. Number 9. High Unemployment Rate The average unemployment rate in the U.S. was at 3.6% as of March 2023. But in California, that number is significantly higher. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the unemployment rate in California is nearly 1% higher than the national average at 4.3%. Some of this is due to slower-than-normal recovery from pandemic job losses, especially considering that California has a lot of tourist jobs. Number 10. Inflation Yes, inflation is a problem everywhere, but in some states it's worse, and California ranks significantly worse when it comes to inflation when compared to the national average. In July 2022, for instance, California experienced one of the highest rates of inflation in the country at 12.5%. In particular, it faced the highest rate of food inflation at a cost of $117 per household. This trend has only continued. In October of 2022, for instance, monthly inflation increased the most in California and Colorado out of all other states in the country. This translated to an increase of $49 in inflation costs per household in California. What about the reasons everyone is moving to Texas? Watch this video to learn about that.